Remember when we looked at elimination reactions and we found some examples where one reaction gave us two possible products? Well, addition reactions are like the opposite of elimination, and sometimes we see similar cases. Let's say we have some propene and we want to make a chloroalkane out of it. To do that, we need to add some hydrochloric acid, HCl. The acid goes in and reacts with the double bond in propene. This leaves only single bonds and enough space for the hydrogen and chlorine in the acid to join up. But we've got a problem here. Which atom goes where? It turns out that there are two possible ways to combine hydrochloric acid and propene. Consider the big chlorine atom. It can bond to the end carbon in propane, which would make one chloropropane. Or it can bond to the middle carbon and make two chloropropane. The situation gets worse, because you don't get these products in equal amounts. The reaction produces a lot more 2-chloropropane than 1-chloropropane, about 9 times as much. If you're thinking, I hope there's a straightforward rule to tell me which product is more likely, I have good news for you. Markovnikov's rule applies to reactions between alkenes and asymmetric molecules like hydrochloric acid or water. It's named after Vladimir Markovnikov a Russian chemist who happened to be the rival of our old friend Zaitsev. This rule says that the rich get richer. It's really just the opposite of Zaitsev's rule. Think about the hydrogen atoms in the alkene you're interested in. Let's pretend that those hydrogens are money, so the carbon with the most hydrogen bonded to it is the richest. In propane, the end carbon has two hydrogens bonded to it, and the middle carbon has just one. So, the end carbon is richer, right? Notice that we only consider the atoms on the either side of the double bond, because that's the interesting part of the alkene. Now let's try that reaction again. Hydrochloric acid comes in and splits into a chlorine and a hydrogen. Where is the hydrogen more likely to go? The rich get richer means it's most likely to go to the carbon that's already the richest. So that carbon now has three hydrogens. It's like the Bill Gates of carbon atoms. And that leaves the chlorine to bond to the middle carbon, like this. What's the name of this product? It is 2-chloropropane, which we already said is the major product of this reaction. Markovnikov's rule works out. Now you've learned this trick for predicting the products of addition reactions, the next step is to practice applying it. Try out the following set of exercises, and feel free to watch this video again if you need to.